If you're going on vacation this year on the southeast coast of the United States, you'd better watch out. It looks like this season is going to be more of a nightmare than a dream come true. Experts say a record-breaking mass of seaweed could blanket the beaches of Florida and Mexico this summer. A belt of brownish plants, some 8,800 kilometers wide, has formed on the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. It is heading for the Gulf of Mexico and is already making it difficult to stay on Mexican beaches. Scientists speculate that the overgrowth is due to climate change and heavy pollution. first glance, it might seem that this is not such a big problem. In fact, the mere appearance of large clumps of sarcasm is not unusual in this part of the world. However, the problem is that the bands of seaweed are getting bigger and bigger every year. This year's weighs about 10 million tons and is so huge that it can be only seen in its entirety from the space. This is a record amount of algae for the first month of the year. Large amounts of algae can cause various problems on beaches. While in the water, clumps of seaweed are a sanctuary for fish, crabs and other marine animals. On land, they can smother turtle nests. Moreover, after two days on the beach, sargasm begins to rot and release a false-smelling mixture of gases into the surrounding area. This can cause health problems such as headaches, burning eyes, and nausea in large doses. South of Cancun, Mexico, the sea has already begun to wash up algae in large numbers. For several days now, the area has been experiencing an excessive presence of sargasm in a large number of places. In a number of places, which has led the Mexican Navy to join in the cleanup of the sea surface. Seaweed is also beginning to appear on the island of Key West in southern Florida. The phenomenon has not affected tourism in the U.S. state much in recent years, but local officials assure that they will monitor developments. County and local officials in the Florida Keys, according to their earlier statements, are prepared to remove sargasm from public beaches if necessary. Both Monroe County and the city of Key West have plans in place to remove sargasm. The question of course is whether that will be enough with the enormous amount of algae this year, or if this battle is foregone conclusion. Subsequent developments will tell, since it will have a design. The weather and the behavior of the sea currents will also play an important role. Scientists are still searching for an explanation for the growth of algal fields. One hypothesis is that the growth may be related to warmer water due to climate change, or to ocean pollution and discharged nutrients, phosphorus and sodium, which are minerals that promote algae growth. But it is probably a synergy of these two factors. Algae are usually kept away from land by the ocean current system, but this time the mass of sargassum broke off and doubled in size in a month. 
The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimates that the algae bloom will affect life in the Caribbean by mid-October. Hopefully, the situation will eventually develop in a more favorable direction and the summer holidays of millions of people will not be threatened by this unpleasant phenomenon. Friends, we are at the end of this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out any videos in the future. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.